Good morning. Today is the day we begin to fully embrace living in the greatest city in the world. Look at this. Look at that ice. Look at that lake. Got lakes are dry right here. There's my skyline. There is Navy Pier. Yes, I've got socks on because I can't find my gloves or mittens. But my first lake front run. Oh yeah. Feels good. degrees i don't know what, what with wind chill but there's there's our skyline sarah and i actually almost rented rented a very small one bedroom in one of these like crazy high rise right on the lake um, but we would have had to throw it away like everything we own look at navy pier there's the drake down there where i proposed to sarah uh all right now time to head back because we live a bit that way but this this is it, friends. This is it. I think Sarah and I, I think we're going down here with James tonight somewhere. I don't know. Go cool for a billy goat. I don't even know if they're open, but we're doing something. He's back. Are you frozen? I'm frozen, huh? No? No. Feel good? Yeah. Ooh, nice hair. All right. It's like noonish. Maybe one, that's no, one-ish, almost one. We were gonna go to the Secretary of State and get new plates and registration and whatnot. After further research, because we financed our car through CarMax, we actually have to have the Secretary of State reach out to CarMax, I think, and do this thing. But more importantly, I'm not as big of a rush to get our license and our registration fixed, because we've got uh -huh. 30 or 60 days. Yeah. What's more important is our parking. Yeah. Sarah called City Hall and they said, I didn't even grab the registration. <laughs> We have to grab our registration from our car and our lease and they'll they'll give us a city sticker that'll last the year but we just have to like get it fixed by next year. The good thing I started vlogging because I, I went to go swap out the parking sticker just in case we're not back by six. Yeah. Like a, a one day. Like our, our car needs a sticker that says we live in this area so that overnight we're able to park without this additional sticker. Yeah, because the additional sticker costs money. Right, and they're they're just one day passes there for visitors and Grant and Christina when they got their permanent stickers they got um like a bunch of extra one days for when visitors come. Yeah. So they've been being super nice and giving us these to yeah, park. Yeah, yeah. Um which I just swapped off but I forgot to grab the car registration which is the whole okay, point. Up. And today we're going on the subway. James is first ride in the L. Oh my goodness. Look, they're having family five minutes away when you need their printer. Uh huh. Your lease to get a seat sticker. <laughs> You stop by and then yeah. get free coffee, hang out with Denise and Matthew. I was so excited to show you his outfit today, but we just had a little. Hanging out know, with Dad's just so relaxing. Your bow muscles just go. <laughs> but he'll still have the sweatshirt. We'll show it to you later. Hi. Hi. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Elmo Slide by Elmo Grants at the Music. This is. The third time Luca and I are listening to this. Clap, clap, clap. Clap, clap, clap. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. Woo, woo. Jump, jump. Jump, jump. Turn around. Good job. <laughs> Look at this. That's Big and Little's. Really good seafood joint. We've been there before, but we'll go back now that we're locals again. Um, left Christina and the kids. Now we're gonna hop on the, the L. We have to go get our city sticker. And we're trying to game plan what, like, what piece of Chicago downtown, like Loop area, do we want to go to first? Like, part of me wants to go to Millennium Park. Part of me wants to get um, one of the most delicious burgers in all the city, I think. 
and that's closer to like like the river and all that. I know. It's not like it's not a huge decision. I think we go. I agree. I think we go that route. We go to like the river food. I missed that I didn't get it, but we just walked through the cheese grater for the first time. I think you might be asleep. Yes. But we are heading on up to the L. Taking whatever line we can to get us to the loop first. Look at that view welcoming us out. So that, it took longer than expected, but we have our sticker and our own day passes now. So if you want to come visit the Brookharts, give us a ring. We'll run you one of these out and you can park right by us. Now, let's go see our city, sweetie. So one block over from City Hall is a place that is very near and dear to our heart. Of the Chris Market. Daily Plaza. This is where the Chris Kindle Market is. Didn't happen this year. Hopefully it returns this winter. And if it does, I'm going to eat my weight in schnitzels and pretzels. <laughs> and cheese. And cheese. And beer. So we're going to head towards the river now and find something to eat. Um, The old gap. That's, a, that's the old gap, yeah. isn't it? Is now, or it's, it looks like it's in the process of becoming a Primark. Hey, UK it's friends. Crazy, yeah. We've heard amazing things about Primark. Well, I guess Chicago's cool like that now. I hope it's still getting, I hope it's still being built. But it looks like it. Lights are on inside. We're still going in. We always forget that the merch in the park is different from the Disney store. Like look at this beautiful jacket. Wow. Look at, there's even an LE Plus. Ooh. Naraya. Look at that Beauty and the Beast cup. So much beautifulness. Oh, wow. All these beautiful keys. They have the ink and paint set stuff here. All of this Pooh Bear stuff. Look at those boots. A backpack, this robe, and jammies. We got Marshall Field across the way, and the Chicago Theater. This is such a sweet sign. We now realize that home isn't just the place we sleep, but the restaurants, shops, theaters, parks, and streets we enjoy together. We're glad to see you here in the home of Chicagoans from every neighborhood. Salute. We go on historic and famous Meg Mile, Michigan Avenue, right there. World famous Billy Goat Tavern and Grill, lower level. Just gotta hop down the stairs and some of the most juicy, greasy, delicious, unhealthy burgers of your life we're gonna about to get. Seems a little sketch, but guess what? It's not, and it's delicious. So you look at that, Billy Goat Tavern and Grill. And if you look on the eve of March 15th, you can see Batman down here. Do you see what? Batman. Oh. <laughs> they say, Sarah looked it up and they say it's, they're open for, I think, takeout, right? All right, so Grubble Hub is powered. There's a triple hamburger, home run cheeseburger. There's an Obama burger. Ooh, the curse break, right? Friday. There's jalapenos, I think, on I'm about to get a, a burger and a Polish. Oh, God. The Curse Breaker, the jalapenos on it, grilled jalapenos, I might get that. Yeah. I also might get the home run. I, don't, I want it all. We're so <laughs> We're too hungry to be doing too this. Too hungry. So fun. Reverse the Curse party right before the Cubs won. They even got a rainbow goat. And it was born in 1934.
we went inside to pick up our order and we, everyone was so happy i saw and sarah like i really think we're gonna see the uh, how the pandemic has affected businesses of all sizes living here now we've already noticed a couple small ones have closed in our neighborhood yeah but like they were all like so pumped yeah and we did it, it's our excuse to order a lot of extra food Vintner's original, got a cold pop. Two uh, Polish is the same. Grilled Polish, mustard, and grilled onions. Delicious. And then we got two burgers. Each of us got different ones though, right? Which one did you get? Uh, double cheeseburger. Mine. It's called the Obama. Apparently the campaign would get it in first and second runs. Egg, onion, bacon. And the baby's waking up because he smells the delicious food. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Shops at Northbridge. James needed a little snack. He woke up and I was like, guys, one, it's cold, and two, I'm hungry. So we're, yeah, he smelled all the billy going. I was like, wait, I want dinner too. So we're taking a quick break here, giving him a snack. Then we're gonna head back to the, the L and head back home because we hit, it's 5.20. We didn't want to be out all night because one, cold, two, we have a lot of unpacking still to do and I go back to work tomorrow. So we're gonna, the goal is to hit, the, hit the kitchen tonight. And we might go grocery shopping as well. If we get crazy enough. But it's been a good afternoon. Just a quick trip, just a quick soaking of like a little glimpse into what Sarah, Peter, and James do in downtown. Down we go. Wow, this is the first time we've seen this in action. Hi, little boy. This is his little Mickey Mouse ensemble. Matching little suit today. Yeah. Gonna get on the train? Oh. You and I just want a little walk to the car. Check this street sign out. So that's street sign right there. Permit parking, no parking, 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. except with permit 383. Guess who has a 383? 17 month. Sticker on their front windshield right now. That's right, the Brookharts. We are home, and tonight we're working on the kitchen. That was a really nice break we had, right? From the day? I just want to one division our stuff away. <laughs> like, whoo, doo, doo, doo. look at this crispy clean baby. Look at this crispy clean baby. It was his first big kid bath. I mean, he was in his bathtub, in the big bathtub. Oh, oh God! First nice. So good, so fresh, so clean, and Dad made yeah. progress. Yay! We're getting there. Thank you. At least it's out of boxes, you know. Yeah. Well, we we can reorganize things. We can make new decisions, but we got to get everything. Got to get the floor open. Right. I don't know the last clip, but it's late. We're gonna go to bed. I wanted to show you progress, and in some places it looks amazing, in other places it looks not so different, but we made great progress today. Here's our classic 100-year-old building door. Love it. Look at, we have a hallway. You can walk down our hallway completely empty. But, so this is more, and look, I cleared a path to the kitchen. That's Eve sleeping. So this looks like there's a lot, but it really is a lot more condensed than what we had it before and concentrated. A lot of it has to do with like art or books that we need to set up the bookshelves or decide where things are getting hung. And then the kitchen was a combined effort between Sarah and myself. It's not 100% yet, but we've got a structure, an organizational plan of where everything is going, which you know is like the first step Got everything all mapped and planned and everything out. This corner's still a bit of a hodgepodge mess, but 
I think we decided the messages, daily message is gonna go up here. Here's gonna end up being like my work desk area when I'm not on the couch, when I have to be like on Zoom calls. I like equated it like this to Sarah, that like this morning we woke up and it felt like we had a couple of rooms that were very close to like great functionality and then the rest of the place was a mess. But instead, what we have tonight is majority of the apartment is in like a good mix of those two things of messy, but functional. Like the kitchen is functional. Living rooms, functional. Bathrooms are functional. James room, functional. Um, dining room, not so much because it's being like used as a workspace of the rest of the boxes. But um, overall, we've got a lot more function, which means less anxiousness in our hearts. So I'm gonna do the daily message. And then we'll uh, do our sign off. March 2nd, happiness is not a goal. It's a byproduct of a life well lived. Eleanor Roosevelt. So what does everybody think? Do we like this backsplash? I think I do. Anyway, it was a great day. Um, I think, you know, I go back to work tomorrow, which is weird because I keep thinking it's Monday, but it's actually Wednesday. Um, but I think what you saw today will be a good average of what you see with us on the weekends, but it'll probably be more driven to being more time downtown, doing more adventure things. But like today was just like a little taste, just like, you know, before we go back to work and everything for us to be like, hey, here's Chicago. So I can't wait to go adventure. We do, I will, I will caveat and say, we've got some fun plans cooking this weekend. Um, the rest of the week is actually we realized as the, as the night went on, um, talked to some family members, we were kind of booked up the rest of the week with um, introducing James to some big people in his family, now that we've kind of gotten settled in um, to a good point that we can just chip away the rest of the organization and not break our backs every single day because it's past, it's past 1 a.m. again. So that's like the third or fourth day in a row that we're rocking past one or two. Um, but we've got some uh, some family members James has to meet before the weekend. So it's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.